Yeah, good morning, Eric. Uh, certainly some relief for flood victims, especially as federal aid is coming their way. So local leaders were pushing for not only residents, but flood victims to document some of the damages and definitely fill out that survey to bring federal aid. Now with this money, it'll come in the form of grants to help with temporary housing as well as home repairs. And already local leaders like Mayor Todd Gloria is praising this action. So I want to pull up a that statement that he actually uh, released uh, yesterday saying the city has been on the ground in the impacted neighborhoods assessing damage and providing all the resources we can to get these communities on the path to recovery. Now with this designation, we can focus on the long term rebuilding efforts from this natural disaster. And Chairwoman Nora Vargas also showed her support in a statement. She says, while FEMA assistance is a crucial step forward, our work is far from over. We must remain vigilant in ensuring the safety and well-being of our community as we navigate the recovery process. Now, this all comes after the recent storms that have hit California. Communities in Mountain View and Southcrest were hit hard during the January 22nd floods. And many still dealing with the water damages in their home and now mold. Communities were hoping for for federal funding and are somewhat relieved to hear it's now coming, but flood victims know they still have a long road to recovery. So state and federal departments will set up a disaster recovery center in the communities most impacted, and they will also help connect people with federal assistance. So back out here in Southcrest, flood victims can start applying uh, under the website disasterassistance.gov. That's latest here in Southcrest. I'll send things back to you guys, Eric and Anna.